Good evening. Many might remember a previous video I did when I first got the Zero Water Pitcher. And um, I did a little review on uh, how much it's actually taken out of the water. Uh, it did amazing. Well, um, surprisingly, it lasted about six and a half, seven months. Uh, and I estimate about, I got about 200 gallons through it. Uh, my water wasn't too bad to begin with. It was about, I think, 160 parts per million. And this sucker brought it down right to zero parts per million. Uh, whereas uh, pure water filter did absolutely nothing in terms of removing uh, dissolved, total salt, dissolved solids. So um, I actually have uh, this filter right here, or uh, the original version. Basically, it's just a pitcher. You fill the top up with water. Water goes through the filter and comes out the bottom. Now, since my filter is finally worn out, uh, I decided to do a filter chop. I have pre-cut it uh, just because it did take me some time. While the sides are a little thinner and flexible, the uh, ends are very durable. Uh, not that it really has to hold up too much, but uh, just to cover some things, um, uh, it has a ion exchange. It's called a zero water ion exchange filter. It starts off with a coarse filter to remove fine particles, followed by uh, number two is the distributor that maximizes contact time between the water and the filter elements. And it's got a multi layer system using carbon and oxidated oxidation reduction alloy, a comprehensive ion exchange array, and a non-woven membrane to remove fine particles. That's so, well, you can see uh, right there a little bit. So, why don't we open up this filter here and actually see. I haven't even peeked inside. Um, I know I'm going to lose a little bit here, uh, but unfortunately I didn't have anything to really cut through over here. Um, I'm not at my home. I'm at uh, my parents visiting. And all I had here was a razor blade. So we're just going to crack that bugger. Well, I guess we'll start <laughs> uh, at, at the bottom here. Um, you had this little bugger on the bottom, just a, a, fi a final little filter probably to keep everything in. It had, uh, let's see, oh, that number five, non-woven membrane to remove fine particles. And uh, this would be that membrane. Um, It's got a lot of this weird, it's kind of, oof, that stinks. It's kind of stinky. Uh, and uh, first sign that the water is starting, the filter is starting to really meet its end of life is uh, the water starts to stink. And um, apparently other reviewers say there's a fishy smell. And um, I will I will vouch for that. And what I, I, I think the fishy smell actually is, is bacteria starting to grow in the filter. Uh, you got kind of the uh, activated charcoal level here. And you got just a, a regular plastic mesh and then another mesh on top. So all in all it's just yeah, that's charcoal on top. This must be the uh, ion exchange array and membrane. It's kind of gooey. It's almost like a like a gel, almost. Uh -huh. So I just thought uh, I'd show you guys what the inside of this looks like. Um, believe me, I can't explain how each section works other than activated charcoal is pretty self-explanatory. Um, that layer was about an inch and a half, two inches thick. And um, sure enough, uh, uh, towards the end of the filter's life, I, I was testing it uh, actually every day for about two weeks. And um, I was at about, and now they say replace the filter when it reaches um, uh, six parts per million contaminants. And uh, uh, 
I thought I'd push it just a little bit because I mean six parts per million compared to 160 parts per million for my regular tap water still a pretty big difference uh, so I thought I'd push it just you know water is still tasting clean and good uh, that was one day the next day it went up uh, another because I, I, I put a lot of water through here on a daily basis so the next day I tested it again it was up to maybe about eight parts per million tested the day after that 11 then um, that was the point where it really jumped and it went from about 11 parts per million up to 90 parts per million in one day so that was kind of the, the point where uh, the filter pretty much was you know I'm full I'm just gonna start letting stuff through and that was that was it so um, at that point is where I replaced the filter and actually uh, the day it really got to, it, it went between the 11 and the 90 uh, was when I started noticing water had a fishy smell uh, so that's about it um, like I said I can't comment too much on really what all the layers are all I can really say is this filter in terms of, of total dissolved solids really worked and uh, just by the uh, the smell of this and by uh, discoloration um, you know it looks like it might have removed uh, had to remove quite a bit I had about 150 200 at least 200 gallons through this thing so uh, if you were curious what the inside of this looked like there you go and I guess I'm gonna dump the rest out recycle the uh, plastic and Not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff. Probably just trash can it. Uh, I let it drain. I replaced this about a week and a half ago. So I let this drain in my sink, just in the corner of my sink. I get as much out. I didn't feel like having a nice leaky mess all over, which now I got a nice little gritty mess. Charcoal. Uh, zoom in a little bit on there for you. Come on, focus. There we go. Lower the camera. That's it, can't focus any closer, sorry guys.